Now let me read the question. This says two blocks are connected by bedless spring of a spring constant k and it has a non deformed length L naught. So L naught is the natural length of a spring. So this is the natural length of a spring that is given. L naught is the natural length of a spring. Rest on a horizontal plane and this horizontal plane is a smooth a constant horizontal force F starts acting on one of the blocks. So this F is constant that is given to you. So this force is constant force that starts acting on block 2. Find the maximum and minimum distance between the bars between the blocks during the subsequent motion of system. So we have to find maximum distance maximum distance between block between blocks we have to also find minimum distance and minimum distance is very easy to find you will see soon so we, talk, we also want to find minimum distance between the blocks now let us say masses of these are equal so question 1 part A says masses are equal and part B says masses are M1 and M2. So let us do the part B first. That is the mass of this is M1, mass B of mass of this is M2. They start going in this direction. And then you have to analyze the motion and then you have to find the maximum distance between the block. Now let us say how we will proceed for this problem. So initially the block 1 was here. Let us say the block 1 has moved by some distance. Now block 1 is here. And this is a spring. And the spring has also stressed by some distance. And there is a force that is acting F here. So this means let us say a spring has a stretched by distance X. So what will be the distance between 2? Initial length is L0. So from here to here initially you have L0. Now it has a stretch by distance x. So now this distance will be L0 plus x. I am assuming this block is point. So either I write from here to here or I write from here to here. This does not matter. So this is L0 plus x. Now let us say this is the initial position. From initial position if I count all the distances. So this is my block 1. This is my block 2. So from here to here, the coordinate of the block 1 is x1. So this is x1 distance away. From here to here, this block is at a distance of x2. Why I am writing x1, x2, we will see soon. Now I can write a one equation. That is x2 is equals to x1, this distance, plus L0 plus x. Are you getting or not? So this is important relationship. We will use this one. Now let us say, write the equation of motion. So for block 1, what are the forces that is acting? On this block, we will have a force Kx. For block 2, we will have force F this side. And Kx that will act this side. So if I write equation of motion for block 1, force is Kx into mass into acceleration mass is, for block 1 is mass is M1, for block 2 mass is M2. So M1 into mass into acceleration. But now I am counting this as x1, so I will have d2x1 by dt square, or so let us say d2x1 by dt square. So this is my equation number 1. If I write equation 2 for block 2, I will write, so this is going in this direction, so force minus kx, this is equals to m2 mass into acceleration, and acceleration will be d2x2 by dt square. Getting. So this is my equation number 2. Now equation 1 I can also write this is equation 1 I can write kx by m1 is equals to d2x by d2x1 by dt square and equation 2 can also be written as f minus kx divided by m2 this is equals to d2x2 divided by dt square. So this is equation 1, again I have written the same equation, this is equation 2. So now 
if I subtract these two equation, equation 2 minus equation 1, will some get important result. So let us do yourself. So if I subtract 2 minus 1, what we will have, this side I will have f by m2 minus kx by m2 minus kx by m1 and this side you will have d2x2 by dt square minus d2x1 by dt square. Regretting. So what I can do is I can write f by m2 minus if I take common k by m k common x also common so I will have 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 are you getting and this is d2 x1 2 minus x1 so I can write something like this d2 x2 minus x1 by dt square because if I differentiate separately this will become d2 x2 by dt square minus d2 x1 by so this two subtracted term can be written into single term this is x2 minus x1 now this term can be further modified f by m2 k x that is m1 plus m2 divided by m1 into m2 and what is x2 minus x1? So let us try to see your copy again. So I will have x2 minus x1 will be nothing but L0 plus x. This comes this side. So x2 minus x1 is L0 plus x. So this will be d2 L0 plus x divided by dt square. I think all of you are getting. Now this is f by m2 minus kx. Let us call this as a 1 by mu. This term is a mu. So that is a reduced mass. So 1 by mu. So what is mu? I am putting a value. Mu is m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2. So what I am using is mu is m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2. So this is basically called reduced mass. So I am plugging for this m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 that is mu. If I plug this, I will have equation. Now L0 is a constant. So differentiation, two times differentiation of L0 will be 0. So this equation simply becomes d2x by dt square. Are you getting? So I can write this equation. d2x by dt square is equals to f by m2 minus k by mu into x. Are you getting? Now solving this equation is slightly tricky one. You see this is a, a simple harmonic motion of equation of simple harmonic motion kind d2x by dt square equals to minus omega square x. I have only this constant term that should be not be there. Now let us say try to solve this equation. What we will do is let us plug this value as z. So if I do this is equals to z is equals to f by m minus k by mu into x. If I differentiate two times, that is d2z by d2 square, this is constant, so this will be 0 minus k by mu, and x will be d2x by d2 square. So from here you will have d2x by d2 square, this will be, this mu will come this side, so mu by k with a minus sign, are getting into d2z by d2 square. So this is d2z by dt square. So d to z by dt square. Now if we plug this value, so this you remember we we'll use this one. So let us call this the 1. Now if you plug this value here, so d to x by dt square is minus mu by k d to z by dt square. And this should be equals to this term is now z. So this is z. Are you getting? Now if I do this one, I will have d2z by dt square is equals to minus k by mu into z. Are you getting? Now this is a simple harmonic motion. So this is the equation of SHM. If you try to solve this equation, you will have z is equals to 
a cos omega t plus b sin omega t so equation of this will be given in this form where omega will be so you see omega will be under root k by mu are you getting so this is the omega now we will find the boundary conditions so have, we have two constant a and b are two constant we will find this constant and i can let us say put the value of z also so come to the uh, back to the original equation so you will have z is equals to f by m2 minus k by mu into x so i can plug the value of z so this is f by m2 minus k by mu into x this is equals to a cos omega t plus b sin omega t now you see we have to find a and b two constants so you know at t is equals to 0 x is equals to 0 that is the first initial condition you have so you see when this force just starts this force has just started this means at that point of time there is no elongation in the string there is no elongation in the spring so x will be 0 also we can say if this force just starts at t equals to 0 this block will have a zero velocity so this is a start from initial zero velocity so i have two boundary condition t is equals to zero x equals to zero t is equals to zero b is also equals to zero so now if you solve this equation you can find let us plug the second boundary condition uh, you can plug both first one first so let us say t is equals to zero x equals to zero so i will have this side x equals to zero so f by m2 this is equals to t is equals to zero so cos omega t will be 1 so this is 1 and sin omega t will be 0 so now I have the value of a so this is from first boundary condition so let us call this as a boundary condition 1 and this is a boundary condition 2 so this is coming from boundary condition 1 if I apply boundary condition 2 for that I have to differentiate because I need velocity so f by m2 will be 0 differentiation and this is minus k by mu dx by dt is velocity v are you getting and then you will have velocity of a spring and velocity of each so there is no rate of separation of x at t equals to 0 so dx by dt will also be 0 so if we differentiate cos omega t so you will have a omega sin omega t and differentiation of sin omega t that will be a bit of minus sign here we will have so b omega cos omega t are you getting now if you plug t equals to 0 so this term sin omega t will be 0 cos omega t will be simply b omega and the velocity is 0 so this suggests may b is equals to 0 so this is coming from second boundary condition are you getting now if i plug the value of two boundary condition in this equation so i will have in this equation if i plug the boundary condition i think all of you are able to understand so you will have f by m2 this is only mathematics there is no physics involved minus k by mu into x this is equals to a is f by m2 a cos omega t so cos omega t are you getting so from here you see x is what so you will have f by m2 minus f by m2 cos omega t is equals to k by mu into x so you can write x is nothing but mu by k into also f by m2 1 minus cos omega t so from here you can see clearly this will be 1 minus cos so x max will be this will be when this is minus 1 so that value is 2 so 2 mu f by k m2 that is the x max now what is the x mean you will have that is this value is 0 so x mean is 0 are getting so when we have x maximum what is the relative distance between two blocks you see the distance between two blocks will be l naught plus x x is max so you will have total distance between two blocks will be basically l naught plus x are you getting so you have to find what is the distance between two blocks that has been to find so now i can write so distance between two blocks is equals to or I say maximum distance between blocks is so let me take another piece so we will have maximum distance between blocks 
maximum distance will be maximum distance you will have that is L naught plus X max and minimum distance you will have that is L naught plus X mean are you getting I think all of you are able to see this one so let us plug the value for maximum distance so max you will have L naught plus X max and X max is 2 mu f by k m2 so 2 mu f by k m2 now plug the value of mu so you will have L naught plus this is only mathematics there is no physics involved here k m2 and what is the value of mu that is m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 you check your copy this is the reduced mass so m2 goes out so you will have maximum distance will be L naught plus 2f by k m1 also m1 plus m2 what will be the minimum distance so what will be the mean that is L naught plus x mean that is 0 so minimum distance will be simply L naught now we put the question says find out the maximum and minimum distance when m1 is equals to m to a special case and both are equals to m so if I do this one so we will have maximum distance I am going slightly fast so this will be m this is m m so m by 2 so 2 2 goes out so we will have in this case x max or you can say maximum distance this is equals to n naught plus 2f so f by k simply will have are you getting and minimum will remain same that is n naught minimum will be simply n naught are you getting so check your copy now see if you have written this one this is a pretty interesting problem interesting in the sense that is we require a good mathematics to solve this problem so what we have done is first we have written the two differential equation in terms of x1 and x2 and then we have subtracted these two differential equation and we get a third differential equation and solving the third differential equation is like a difficult one so we have done a variable change that is the right time right side term I have assumed equals to z and now if I do the variable changes equation seems to be a simple harmonic motion so this is the simple harmonic motion you see here so this equation comes out to be a simple harmonic motion now if I solve this simple harmonic motion I will have two constant a and b to solve these two constant I need two boundary condition the boundary condition is when system just a start there is no elongation in the spring so t equals to 0 x equals to 0 now at t equals to 0 dx by dt is also 0 because there is no change no block is neither moving so at t is equals to 0 I can say velocity of both blocks are 0 because just starts to move so this means a spring also not has a stretched by a small distance just a start to a stretching this means dx by dt is also 0 so velocity of a stretching of a string is also 0 so if I apply that thing that the second boundary condition I solve for a and b will come something of this kind of equation so this gives me x equals to so this suggests me a spring is doing a SHM are you getting this block is moving and a spring is doing a SHM so x of a spring SHM is given by this equation x between the two blocks so this the maximum stretch will ha happen when this is cos omega t is equals to 1 and minimum stretch you will have that is cos omega 2 is 1 and maximum is minus 1 that is minus mi minus 1 or minus that is 2 so you see this is a pretty good problem we will discuss the next problem of same kind ok so let us finish it